Minecraft seeds had many uses over the years. Unique terrain generation, speed running, and even users going one step and beyond to go ahead and find the original seed that was in the background for Minecraft. But today, I decided to go ahead and search for the best seed for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I have been looking for the best seed since 2017 on my main channel. Now we're on the second channel. Watch the videos to the very end to figure out what the best seed for Minecraft Bedrock Edition is in 1.17. It will actually shock you. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video, and today I'm going to be going over the best seed for the Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I think I have finally found it after years of searching, and especially since 1.17 has came out a couple of months ago, i definitely been on the hunt for a new best seed, and I definitely think I found it. In order to go ahead and get this seed, type in the numbers that you see on the screen. But anyways, I got a lot to cover, so let's go to jump right into it. When you guys first spawn in, you're going to actually be greeted with a village. And if you guys want to follow along, go ahead and check the top left-hand side of my screen, and you'll see all the coordinates. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So coming across the ravine, actually you can walk all the way around, that's possible. And you'll come across these diamonds right here. So if we go down here, there's actually, I think there's about three diamonds. Let's go ahead and check, or maybe two. Yeah, it's probably only two diamonds, but that's still good nonetheless. Let's go ahead and check out the other structures. Right next to the diamonds, you can actually find the Stronghold Room. So if we go ahead and drop down here, this will bring you directly down to the Stronghold Room. Be careful of this lava, and then you can go ahead, and I believe there are no Eyes of Ender in it, but it is very nice to have it super close to your spawn. Coming from the original place where we found the first group of diamonds, we're going to go ahead and go a little bit back, and we can come down here, and we could find ourselves some more diamond. If I go ahead and break this gravel down here, let's go ahead and break this, and we can see that we have, I think, about three diamonds. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and break it. So there's one, two, three, and I believe we may have more. I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, that's about three diamonds. One, two, three, three diamonds. So currently we're at five diamonds so far. Just to get all the diamonds out of the way, right next to the stronghold room, we're going to come across some more diamonds. So let's go ahead and drop it down here, and we could find ourselves some more diamonds. I believe this is actually a very big bundle of diamonds, so let's go ahead and check it out. So this should be around four at the bottom, and that's going to be five in total. Bring your total up to ten diamonds. So next up, we have all the spawners close to spawn, and you can see that we have a lot of them. So let's go ahead and check it out. Dropping down here, this is actually very close to spawn. Very nice skeleton spawner. If we go ahead and take a look inside of the chest, we could find some gunpowder. We can find some wheat. Iron is actually very useful. That golden apple. I know you guys are not going to get the same loot because this is actually loot tables. So you guys can get something very good or probably worse than what I got. But you can see some more golden apples. And in general, a very nice chest. So let's go ahead and go into the next spawner. Not too far from the last one, we can come over here, and I believe we can find ourselves a zombie spawner. So, the zombie spawner is going to be here, and I believe there's only one chest, but that's actually okay, because we're going to get some good items here. A saddle, we got some horse armor, we got bones, rotten flesh, and even some good seeds that we can go ahead and use. And coming from that last spawner from there, we can have another spawner right here. Drop down, and I believe this is going to be, yet again, another zombie spawner. Honor. And in this one, we actually got some pretty not so good items. We do have a name tag, we got some bones, and we also have some rotten flesh and wheat. Right over here is actually going to be the mine shaft. The mine shaft is actually very close to spawn as well, as you can see by that glowstone. And right here is going to be the mine shaft. I could go over all the mine shaft chests, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that because there's a lot of things to cover. Coming back closer to spawn, right in the village, there's actually some diamonds that I actually missed. I made this post right here. Let's go ahead and drop down. And I think there is going to be some water here. So let's go ahead and cover that up real quick. And then we want to go ahead and drop down here. So if you decide to come down here, I believe you will be finding yourselves three diamonds just like that. Actually, four diamonds. Wow, okay. So we have, oh, five? Wait, hold on. Wait, six? Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's six diamonds here, guys. Okay, wait, seven? 
all right all right one two three okay that's actually really good so four or actually no i believe it's only five I actually miscounted actually six wait yeah there's six diamonds here because there's diamonds even okay this is very interesting vein is six wait set okay guys maybe i'm just counting twice i'm not gonna lie but okay so we have 16 diamonds in total Coming over here, we could find some more diamonds. I tried to mark the ones that are closest to spawn, and these are definitely very close. So coming down here, we could find ourselves some pretty good amounts of diamonds. As you can see, one, two, three, four, and I believe there's even more. Oh, that's even more right there. There's going to be five, and I believe there will be six. So let's go ahead and check this out. Six and seven diamonds. Okay, this is pretty impressive, guys. Really strongly recommend checking this out. Seven diamonds in total. That should bring your total up to 23 diamonds. I do want to go ahead and get you guys a full set of diamond armor. So let's go ahead and drop down here. And we should be able to go ahead and do that just like this. One diamond. Now we're at 24. Well, I just broke it. Okay. So we actually are at 24. The one that I broke. So I'll just place that one back. 25, 26. And I believe there's even more diamonds. Let's go ahead and dig around. Okay. So it's only 26 at the moment. Here are some more diamonds. If we go ahead and drop down, we can come across a good amount of diamonds. Let's go ahead and dig, and we should be on our way to the diamonds. So here is yet again another two diamonds. So let's go ahead and go to the next area. Traveling over here, we can find ourselves yet again another spawner. So let's go ahead and check it out. And as you can see, this one is going to be yet again another zombie one. But we actually did get a music disc from it. And we also got a golden apple, some redstone, and some bones. And coming over here, we got some golden horse armor, which is going to be pretty helpful if we actually get a horse. Coming over this way from the stronghold room, we can come over to yet again another spawner. I'm really trying to find the spider spawner that I found earlier today. But right here is going to be yet again another skeleton one. We got, oh my goodness. Okay, we got some diamond horse armor and we got some golden apples we also got a name tag as well right over here is going to be some more iron horse armor golden apples iron ingots and even some bread so i'm pretty hyped about this guys let's go back up traveling a little bit farther away i want to go ahead and cover this real quick we actually do have a desert temple over here so let's go ahead and check it out and we also do have a spawner so let's go ahead and check out what's inside the desert temple we should be able to go to get something pretty good so dropping down here i did turn off tnt explodes but i will stop there and we're gonna go ahead and check this out so right here we got a pretty good book we have perishing and we have some emeralds and we head into the next one right here it's going to be yet again another book which is going to be giving us a pretty good one which is going to be death strider so we can go ahead and walk across water very fast we also have some iron ingots rotten flesh and some bones in that one and we also have some iron ingots in this one a spider eye not too good and we also got some diamond horse armor okay that's really good we also got a book of feather falling three and we also got some iron ingots so honestly not that bad for a desert temple but heading over to here we could find ourselves yet again another spawner so let's go to check it out i do try to cover all spawners and as you can see right here we do have ourselves yes a spider spawner so we have all types of different spawners and we have my favorite music disc which is going to be cats and let's go ahead and head over to here which is going to be oh my yo i can play this two times okay we got a cat cd we got two cat cds we got also a golden horse armor and we also do have a saddle okay so this is actually some pretty cool stuff guys and we have two saddles this is just so good so let's go ahead and keep moving we got a ton more things to cover Heading over here, we actually got a bunch of different villages. So the only unfortunate thing about this seed, and I kind of do regret it, but I feel like everything else makes up for it, all the spawners, the above ground stronghold, or just the fully exposed one. But this one, you could definitely go ahead and grab the crops, but we're not really seeing too many blacksmiths or hardly any. And you're going to see what I'm experiencing here in a second. But over here, we do have yet again another desert temple. So let's go ahead and check out what we can 
can go ahead and get from it and again guys this isn't even that far from spawn so this is very helpful let's go ahead and break this so i know i've been here and we're gonna go ahead and drop down into the middle let's do that just like that and we are good to go so as you can see we got some golden apples we got some iron ingots bones we also have in this one some more iron ingots rotten flesh over here we got some golden horse armor some rotten flesh strings and over in this one we got some pretty good loot in this one it's going to be some emeralds and we also do have a book for death strider once again so we can combine those two books that we got to get death strider too very helpful stuff coming over here we got our third village so let's go ahead and check this out and you're going to actually see this quite commonly there's tons of different villages very small ones that we're just really not going to need but you guys can definitely check it out nonetheless and i still think this makes it one of the best seats ever all the access to materials very helpful stuff Heading over here, we do have an outpost, so if you guys want to go ahead and grab the loot from there, you guys can. But there is a bunch of different loot that we already grabbed from different areas. Heading over here, we actually have our fourth village. Yes, fourth village. We're going to go ahead and check it out real quick. So this one obviously doesn't have anything, and that's kind of the unfortunate thing about a lot of these seeds that have a lot of good things at spawn. Sometimes they'll be missing one key component. So let's go ahead and drop down here. We have yet again another zombie spawner. We got some iron horse armor, some bread, even a bucket, golden apples. Pretty good stuff, guys. We got some wheat. We also got redstone, and we also do have some rotten flesh those are some of the highlights from this chest that i got another thing that is worth pointing out is there's a ravine right next to this spawner it isn't exposed but it is really cool that they do have the spawner right next to the ravine so you're probably wondering how I'm able to go ahead and find such good loot in every single seed that I find. Well, to analyze the seeds better, I use the Amulet World Editor. This is actually a very powerful tool that lets you view the world in 3D. I'm actually not sponsored by them, but I just thought it was a really cool tool that I actually would share to you guys. So as you can see, I can view everything that I'm looking for. And this is how I'm able to go ahead and find such good seeds. I also use an X-ray texture pack that allows me to see a lot of diamonds. And and I also use something called T-Client that has a working CSP for Bedrock, meaning that I can easily see chests and spawners through the walls and just the ground in general and it actually helps out a lot. So to get a better understanding on how CSP works and how I was able to go ahead and find everything so quickly, basically what it does is it allows me to go to see right through the ground. So take a look at this. Let's say we go to one of the spawners right here. We can see it right through the ground. And this is definitely a super helpful tool for analyzing seeds. Instead of like just digging everywhere or just using an x-ray texture pack, it actually notifies me right here where a chest would be or spawners and just things in general. And I can kind of get like let's say we're right here next to a mine shaft since there's a mine shaft right there i can usually typically guess that there's going to be some type of mine cart with chests down here as you can see i was actually right so coming down here i'll be able to go ahead and easily see it and take a look at that we got some pretty good stuff we got a bunch of different items some rails a name tag and even some bread so very helpful stuff and we even got some glow berries in here but anyways that's gonna pretty much wrap for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed this wonderful seed i think it's actually really one of the best but let me know down in the comment section below but if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing with poster cases on it would actually mean a lot we're trying to hit 100k on the second channel here so hopefully you guys we can go ahead and make that happen but anyways i'll see you guys next time for the next video on shift replays bye